Hello and welcome to today's video. The AMA has finally released the Anaheim 2 penalty report. It took a little while for them, but we got it. Obviously, some of it we already knew, but there were some surprises in there. If I sound weird today, I'm sorry. I have a stuffy nose and a scratchy throat. This is like the first time in two years I've been sick, so it's a little bit rough, but we'll make it through. Now, before we get into today's video, the first issue of my magazine for 2024 will be released on the first weekend of February. AP will be on the cover. If you want a copy, head to the MXNetwork.com, link in the description. You can either buy MagPass and get every copy for the year or pre-order issue number seven by itself. All right, let's start with the 250 class. The sole 250 class penalty goes to Cole Thompson. The team solitaire, heartbeat, hot sauce, Yamaha rider received a one position penalty for race two, his infraction being a track cut. Obviously, I couldn't find the footage of the incident as the live broadcast wasn't focusing on mid-pack guys for the most part. Uh, anyways, the Canadian native still managed to hold 15th overall in Anaheim 2, even after the penalty. On to the 450 class, I'm going to begin with a bit of a boring one. The French native, Jason Claremont, received the penalty of a loss of his fastest lap time during B qualifying. Now, he didn't qualify anyway, so it didn't matter in the end, but it was part of the penalty report. I figured I'd keep it in here. Next up, one we weren't expecting, Cooper Webb, the Anaheim 2 overall winner, had a fantastic night, just riding very consistently, looking at that old Webb style kind of this weekend, or this past weekend. Luckily, his penalty only affects his wallet and not his overall position or points he earned. Uh, Webb's penalty was for race two, his violation, refusing a broadcast interview. Uh, his penalty was a fine. Again, this year the AMA isn't telling us the dollar amount, unfortunately, so that's all we know. Now, I did want to include <laughs> his friend, Phil Nicoletti, responded to this penalty. Uh, Webb posted a picture of his camera roll for January, and his penalty was part of it. And uh, Nicoletti didn't hold back commenting on it, and I just had to include it because it was pure gold. So here's that. Nicoletti said, they don't realize no one wanted to hear you talk anyway, so you did them a favor. Also, I hate you. Now that hate you part was a joke as Webb posted a cringy photo of Phil flexing. If I have it, I'll put it up on screen. So I don't blame him on that part. Not that his response has anything to do with the penalty. I just thought it was pretty funny and wanted to include it in this video. But yeah, sucks to see Webb get a penalty. Uh, I wish I knew why he skipped the interview. If he just drove out of the stadium angry or didn't see, I don't know. They didn't give us many details on that. Neither did Webb. So I don't know what happened necessarily, but sucks. Financial loss, obviously. On to our final penalty for the day, Monster Energy Kawasaki rider Jason Anderson. I think it's fair to say we all saw this one coming in race three. Anderson had an early tip over before uh, one of the whoop sections, uh, the, that weird corner with the, the rollers that caught a lot of people off guard throughout the day. Uh, he did tip over. He got up quick and sped past the whoops, clearly gaining time on his competitors. You can see him get right to the rear tire of the, I don't remember who it was, Derek Drake maybe? I don't know. I'd have to see the video again. Anyway, here's a clip. All day long, I'm telling you, the box score isn't a reflection of how well he is riding. Oh, Anderson. Oh, this is a hit from Santa Claus to Cooper <laughs> Webb right yes. there. Yep, you know. Now, the AMA ruled he gained an advantage off track, which I think is a fair ruling, and he was given a one-position penalty, thus knocking him off the podium and moving Plessinger up. So... It sucks to see him get knocked off the podium, but he clearly gained a lot of time uh, skipping the whoops there. So a one-position penalty is the minimum Anderson could have gotten, in my opinion. So, All right, well, that's all I got for this week's penalty report. I don't really love doing these, but you guys need to see the penalties. So that's all I got for you. Thank you for watching. Again, sorry for my voice. My nose is all stuffed up and whatever. It don't matter. Push through it. I might do another video today. I don't know. Not feeling great. Anyway, that's all I got. Thanks for watching. Head to the MXNetwork.com, go snag a magazine or two, and I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.